Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing our week ahead readings. I'm going to just get the mic a little closer so you can hopefully hear me better. Um, how's everyone doing? So we're looking at the week ahead, but as always these are timeless, so whenever you're guided to watch the video that's when you should watch it. Because there's a message there for you and you can do that with all the videos on my channel really, but uh, the weeklies um, playlist especially. So, let's just jump in here. This is going to be for the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and I'm uh, going to do the timestamps. Um, I think at this weekend I'll, if not this weekend, early next week, I'll set up the Valentine's Day special, um, so that will be available on my specials page. Any information about private readings is always in the description box below. Please make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't, and thank you if you have. I really, really appreciate all the love and all the support. So, all that being said, let's begin here. It's going to start with Cancer. I'm doing timestamps as we go. So, what does the week ahead have in store for Cancer? Someone rising Venus signs. This is the Tarot and Wonderland deck. Forgot to mention that. That's up for Cancer in the week ahead. Okay, so situation, we have the Wheel of Fortune. I hear turn around, come back around, twist of fate. The challenge is the Ten of Swords. You have to end something in order to be able to do that. And the outcome is the Ten of Cups. So I feel like you're ending one situation to go complete another or ending one situation to go start another. Um, We'll get more clarification. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. So the Three of Swords is an energy of heartache, heartbreak. Definitely looking at a breakup here, Cancer. And again, this is not going to be for everyone, right? So take what resonates. Be sure to watch your sun, your moon, your rising for all the other messages. They may pertain to you in these general readings. So the Three of Swords with the Ten of Swords, some of you are dealing with a breakup, okay? Um, the situation, you have, oh, you have three tens. The wheel is a ten. Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups. Something is definitely coming to a conclusion here, Cancer. With the Wheel of Fortune here, it is for the best. Okay, it may not feel like it as you're going through it, but it is for the best. Um, because things are happening, things are changing, and things are coming to an end outside of your control with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, your challenge with the Ten of Swords is to kind of let it happen, if I'm going to be honest, uh, or to go with it. Um, to allow this ending to happen so that you can have a new beginning. Okay, because the Ten energy, regardless of if it's the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Cups, or the Ten of Pentacles, it's a transitory energy, okay? It's not meant for us to set up camp and live there. So that is, that goes for the Ten of Cups too, right? Where you've reached a pinnacle, you've reached um, a very happy, successful point in your relationship, let's say. If we get comfortable, and we stop putting effort, right, towards it, what's going to happen? It's going to die away. It's going to fall apart, right? If we continue and we continue to look at, okay, what's next for us, you continue to evolve. But that means, candle just went out, but that means you start over, right? You start a new phase. You start a new cycle. So I feel like that's where you are, Cancer. If something is changing, it's a massive change. It doesn't feel like you have a say in it. I'm going to be honest. Although, for a lot of you, this is something that you've manifested. I do see that. Because with the Three of Swords, this is your energy, and it's been your energy for quite some time, where you have not been happy, but you know when you're not happy, but you either try to explain it away, find excuses, tell yourself it's not that bad, or whatever the case may be. Um, you don't really do anything about it, right? Well, subconsciously, you have been doing a lot about it. Okay, You've been manifesting this change this ending okay and in the outcome you have the ten of cups i feel like your happiness lies somewhere else and a change needs to happen for you to find that happiness okay for others of you this is where i feel like someone's changing their mind that could be you it could be to do with something related to marriage commitment or family and the challenge is, I don't know if you, if it's a fertility thing, for example, I don't know if you have to start treatments, 
or if you have to un undergo some sort of a procedure. But that could be the case as well. And for those of you I'm seeing a situation of someone giving birth, there's some unforeseen circumstances here that kind of you can't have a natural birth or you can't have the, the, the birth you planned. It's going to need a c-section or it's going to need some sort of extra help from the doctors but I don't want you to worry because in the outcome <clears throat> you have the ten of cups you're happily ever after energy okay let me just change that candle because it's driving me insane alright so I want you to focus on the fact that actually you've been manifesting this whether you were aware of it or not there we go better I don't like to read without a candle on it <laughs> I don't know why um, so I want you to focus on the fact that you have manifested this, whether it feels like it or not, uh, you have manifested it. Let's get more cards. We have the Wheel of Fortune, we have the World, another major, again talking about completion, circle, coming full circle, the challenge with the Ten of Swords, the Strength card, yeah, to just kind of, you know, s stick with it, write that ending out to get to the other side, which Ten of Cups in the outcome is the Hangman. I feel like you're going back to something that was suspended. And the Page of Cups, yeah. For some of you, if you are dealing with this, is like a children pregnancy type thing. Under the Three of Swords, where we have the Four of Pentacles, yeah. You know what you want, but you've been holding yourself back from it for fear of whatever. You fill in the blank, okay? But you've closed yourself off. No matter what, this is the type of situation that, you know, you don't. It's like you look around, you don't really have a reason to complain, but you're not happy right it's almost like the four of cups energy but king of swords gemini libra aquarius energy and you've been explaining it away no i i need to be in this situation because it's good for me it doesn't feel like it's good for me it doesn't make me happy it doesn't fulfill me but i'm telling myself that it's good for me because it should be good for me right because either it's working for other people or my family thinks it should be good for me or fill in the blank right but uh you've been holding yourself back from holding yourself back, censoring yourself, okay, that's the three of swords as well, not really what I want to say, but take a deep breath and I'll say whatever they expect me to, or whatever I need to, to keep the peace, or, you know, this could even be just fear of change with the four of pentacles there, and so you told yourself the situation you're in is actually, it's okay, it's good for you, right, but it's, it's coming from a fear of change, and in the situation, the wheel of fortune with the world card, big change is happening, why, because either there's some unfinished business that you need to finish because your head or your heart is still there so you can't really move on in anything else until you finish that chapter right um for others of you this is about a change in job or career altogether because it's big or a change in residence and you're maybe even moving abroad right it's far away it's a big big change or it's a change in status with the world card we are you're going from being in a relationship to being single you're going from being committed to getting married, you're going from, and changing your mind, right, about what the next chapter is for you. So, for some of you, this will be conversations around getting married, or conversations around moving in together, or conversations around having babies, and something is changing because someone is releasing the fear, right, they're conquering their fear with the strength card and the death, uh, the death card and the ten of swords. They are really conquering their fear. You're conquering your fear here. I almost called you Gemini. Some of you are dealing with the Gemini. Um, you're conquering your fear. Your fear of change. Your fear of failure for some of you. Your fear of being on your own with the strength card there. Or the fear of what's next. The fear of thinking bigger, hoping for bigger, trying something new. Completely new with the Wheel of Fortune where you have no frame of reference and you have to figure out on your own or with a partner. So, um, I'm getting very successful conversations when it comes to relationships uh, and moving them to the next level. It may have been a stuck situation with the hangman there because of this fear. So, not moving in together, not committing to one another, not getting married because of commitment issues or whatever. Uh, not having children, not wanting children, and then someone changes their mind because they overcome their fear, and they're like, okay, I'm more open to the idea. It doesn't mean I'm trying right away, but I'm open to the idea, right? It's something that um, I envision in our future, right? So there's there's a closeness here that is happening as a result of that. There's a coming closer together as a result of that because you're coming on the same page, right, with uh, your partner, your spouse, someone else here. 
for those of you, this is where you are biting the bullet, I hear, and you're going back to something that's unfinished, but you haven't really been able to move on from it. You've been stuck because of it. And whatever situation you are in, I feel like you told yourself, no, this is better for me, so that you don't have to go back to that, right? This is better for me. I'm going to be here. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to be happy. Um, I have no reason to complain. Everything's going well. However, you have just not been happy. You've not been fulfilled. Um, I'm not seeing, you know, a lot of drama. I'm not seeing, literally, you look at it and I'm like, you're, you're thinking I should be happy, but I'm not, right? And it's coming to that realization and it's accepting that, right? Conquering the fear to be honest with yourself and be honest with others and take action to do whatever you feel you need to do. And I do feel like it is restoring communication to something that has been very, very stuck and stagnant. It's something that once was your happily ever after. Whatever happened, it fell, fell, fell apart. Maybe you moved away, someone else moved away, I don't know, or um, the connection ended because of other reasons. There might have been some control issues there with the Four of uh, Pentacles. But either way, this is restoring communication, either through an apology, asking for forgiveness, or, you know, asking for a second chance, or to start over, you know, see where the other person stands, etc. Okay? Um, because, like I say, you're coming to the conclusion that I already found my happily ever after, and that's where my heart is. That's why, no matter what I do, I'm not feeling emotionally fulfilled and content in any other situation. I may not have a reason to complain when you look at it rationally. However, my heart is not happy, right? Why? Because your heart is actually in this other situation. And that's why I feel some of you are conquering some sort of, of fear. It is helped by external factors, okay? Some endings happening that you are not the one initiating those endings, right? They're just happening. And it's almost like you kind of take advantage of it and you kind of ride the coattails of that. So I'm just going to jump on that wagon and let it take me where I need to go. Not fighting anything anymore, okay? Letting it happen. Because it frees you to go back and try to restore, fix, heal, or get closure from this other situation where your heart is. Okay? I am seeing big changes, like I say, in, in location, uh, career in a lot of personal transformations as well with the strength guard they're conquering a lot of fears and deciding you know what i'm not going to close myself off to that possibility anymore i'm just going to let it happen if it happens or uh, if i have the opportunity i'll pursue it or i'm getting used to the idea i'm making it a part of my life as a possibility for the future you know what i mean and there's a closeness that is happening as a result of that between you and your spouse your partner family, whatever the situation is regarding. And for those of you, like I say, you're going back to where your heart is. You're going back to where your heart is by taking advantage of some endings that are happening outside of your control. Interesting reading. So let's get you some Oracle Energy and Advice. Oracle Energy and Advice for Cancer for the week ahead. Oracle Energy and Advice for Cancer for the week ahead. Oracle energy and advice for cancer for the week ahead. Okay, so I heard top, middle, and bottom, so that's what we're doing. Okay, and now at the bottom we have, it's always tea time, eternity, endless moments, and repetition. 26, number 8, strength card, infinity symbol, repetition, cycles, something coming back around. Um, you going back to something because... Even though it feels like it's been an eternity since you saw that person or talked to that person, you're still there. <laughs> Emotionally, you're still there, right? And this is bringing that back around to address it. Either fix it, heal it, restart, or release it, okay? Getting closure from it. It'll be different reason f re reasons for everyone, if I can speak. What else do we have? Clock time. <laughs> time pressure in a rush, number 14. It looks like a clock. The Wheel of Fortune is a clock here. The World card is a circle in the shape of a clock, right? So I feel like it's divine. This is divine timing. 14 adds up to a 5. That's change, external change, chaos, uncertainty, things shifting, changing. 
and they're shifting and changing because it's time to make something right or it's time to go to the next level, to con conquer some fears and go to the next level. Law is not justice, rules that are not fair, number 30. Interesting. I feel like for a lot of you this just means you've been trying to follow someone else's rules. You've been trying to live your life according to someone else's rules. Uh, and this could be culture, tradition, you know, what w what your family did before you're expected to do as well. What your community thinks you should do, that's what you should do. And I feel like that's what you've been trying to do. And you've been doing your best. Three of Swords, 30 adds up to three. You've been doing your best. But it's not for you. It's not meant for you and that's why it's not fulfilling. Right? That's why it feels like you're always, no matter what you do, you're the odd one out. No matter what you do, because you look around and it's like everyone else is happy. I'm doing the exact same thing that they're doing. Why am I not happy? Because it's not meant for you. That is not meant for you. You're meant to find your own truth. You're meant to live your own truth. Um, and I do feel like for a lot of you that means going against the grain. And maybe that's something that you are scared of. But I feel like you're getting to that point where you're ready to make things right. However that makes sense. Okay? And this pressure, whether it's external, you're expected to do something and it's expressed. Right? You're, that's what you're expected to do. Or it's pressure that you put on yourself. Because you only have your parents, your family, or community as a frame of reference of what a grown-up should be, what a mother should be, what a father should be, what a marriage should be about, right? What you, what you do, right, in a relationship. What you do when it comes to studies, when it comes to work, how you earn your money, right? Maybe you're more of a freelancer, maybe you're more of a, you know, innovator, a free thinker, and you can see things differently. You don't, what, what to you looks like, oh yeah, that's a, that's the easiest decision, clearly. To others, it looks like, oh my god, you're crazy, and you're gonna, you know, hurt yourself, or you're gonna be broke because you're taking stupid risks, but they don't see what you see. Does that make sense? And it's almost like you've been trying to follow the path before you, but you're just not meant for that path. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like it comes to that conclusion. You're coming to that conclusion of, you know what, I need to figure out what makes me happy and give myself an opportunity to be happy. Going against the grain or not, if people agree with it, approve of it or not, that n doesn't need to be my concern anymore because maybe for the longest time that was your concern. Titi, Phoebe. My boys are very interested in my new setup. Falling, the unknown, descent, momentum, and change. Number four. You're taking a chance on something. With the Wheel of Fortune there as well. You're taking a chance on something. You already know. You've already found you're happy for some of you. And you're taking a chance. You're going against the grain. You're fixing it. You're going back to see what can be done about it. Right? Even if it's just to get closure and kind of get your heart back <laughs> from that situation so that you can heal it and then invest it in something else or someone else, or if something can be resurrected, um, or this is where you're taking a chance on yourself, your own path, you're, you're by yourself when you're falling, right? It's your own path um, in making some changes because you're allowing yourself the opportunity to do things differently. You try things out, right? If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But you learn something about yourself every step of the way, right? So I do feel like for a lot of you, it's the fear of failure. And you're conquering that, which is amazing, okay? So, yeah, we're looking at some big changes here. And like I say, for some of you, they will be external. People will see these changes. For others of you, they're completely internal. Only you will see the, uh, the the change within yourself, how you think, how you feel, your attitude, your confidence level, your optimism, okay? Only you will see that to start with, and then people around you will also start to see it because you'll start to be making different choices. Do you know what I mean? But good for you, Cancer. This is amazing. This is amazing. It's always... A little bit of a miracle, you know, when you get to conquer a very deep-seated fear. It's a bit of a miracle, I'm not even going to lie. So good for you, I'm very proud of you. If no one else tells you that, listen to me, I'm very proud of you, it's a big deal. Okay. Moving on to Scorpio. Hey Scorpio, thank you for joining us. If you're skipping ahead, as always, please also watch the intro. 
because there's information for you there. This is the Tarot in Wonderland. I forgot to mention that in the intro. So what's going on for Scorpio? I heard money, 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 money. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> um, so focus on money. We're just being very, very busy, but obviously it will translate, hopefully, into more money. It's coming up for Scorpio, Someone Rising Venus signs in the week ahead. The situation is the Emperor. The challenge is the Nine of Cups. Yeah. And the, the outcome is the Magician. I do feel like it's Major Arcana energy here as well. The Emperor in the situation, you're being very, very responsible. There's a lot of responsibility on your shoulders, or you're putting a lot of responsibility on your shoulders to get stuff done, right? You'll, you're pulled in a lot, a lot of different directions. Maybe some people depend on you, or they're waiting for you, or you have to help, or whatever the case may be. Uh, or this is just work, where you're split a lot of different ways, and you do have a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. And this is you going into full-on Emperor mode, Okay, let's do this thing, let's get some lists out, let's make some executive decisions here. Um, I can't wait around for people to figure it out. I know what the answer is. I'm going to have to submit it, or I'm going to have to propose it, or I'm just going to have to do it, right? Very, very focused, stern, organized, get stuff done attitude. Your challenge with the Nine of Cups is that, well, there's not a lot of time to indulge. There's not a lot of time to chill. There's not a lot of time to just do nothing, or just have meaningless <laughs> fun, right? Um, not a lot of time for a social life, not a lot of time to catch up with people, not a lot of time for your family or your relationship. That's your challenge. In the outcome, we have the magician. Either you're working towards something, and that's your motivation for staying so focused, right? You have a plan in mind. I want that new beginning. I want that promotion. I want that new job. I want to start my business. And this is where you hustle and bustle to get everything set up to then, you know, it can start to work on its own and pay for itself type thing. Um... Or, whether you're conscious of that, or you're manifesting a new beginning for yourself subconsciously, and that's why you feel that drive to just push yourself at this time. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups. We usually start with that, don't we? So with the Ace of Cups, it's either you're working to a new, towards getting a new home, buying your home, buying your first home, something along those lines. You're working towards getting your dream job something where money will be overflowing it's something you love to do and the money will be overflowing so it's almost like it won't feel like work but it'll make you a lot of money or it's a home-based business that you're working very hard to set up at this time or it's a case of for some of you I'm working really hard to get myself in a position where I know I can be a good provider and I have stability there to then be able to focus on my relationship or propose to my to my partner, right? Because I want to have these things lined up before I do that, okay? You have a goal in mind, consciously or subconsciously, really, with that magician, because it's manifestation. And it may have to do with new love, new beginning in love, new level in love, new home, dream job, dream career, or business, and just abundance, right? Things overflowing. I mean, you know what you're doing. You don't need a lot of advice here, Scorpio. Um, you got it all together with the Emperor. You know exactly what you're doing, what you're supposed to be doing, and you're doing it. What I would caution you against is burnout or um, making this your new normal. You know, you're kind of teaching the people at work that this is going to be your new speed um, and then it's expected of you, right? They don't know that it's just you pushing yourself temporarily until you reach a goal and then you can kind of go back to chilling, you know what I mean? Or, you know, giving some of the responsibilities back or, do you know what I mean? So let's see, with the Emperor in your current situation, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Definitely working towards starting your own business, working towards abundance, financial independence, reaching some sort of a financial goal. The Nine of Cups is the challenge. We have the Page of Swords. People around you might not be exactly happy with all the time you spend working or all the time you spend focusing on whatever this goal is. Because the Page of Swords can be, you know, conversations that are kind of difficult to have. You know it's the truth being spoken, but it's just how they put it forward, right? Maybe someone's kind of blunt. Maybe someone 
is just they could be you could deal with a Gemini Libra and Aquarius and they're just very direct right they just want to get their message across clearly but there's some sort of a challenging uh, communication or conversations um, regarding on regarding what you're doing or how you prioritize things that can also be the case here in the outcome with the magician we have the four of pentacles here's that money 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 stability reaching that point of stability you've been working the emperor is also a four under the ace of cups we have the knight of cups so for a lot of you this is definitely in the queen of wands this is your energy whether you have fire in your chart or not um, or you're dealing with an Aries Aries also is the Emperor Aries Leo Sag but you're very driven you're very motivated okay I need to reach this point before I can have this okay I need to reach this point before I can Knight of Cups with the Ace of Cups propose or ask my girlfriend boyfriend to move in together or for some of you are putting you're like again saving money for to buy a house uh, or you're putting yourself in a stable position financially because you want to start talking about marriage or you want to start talking about starting a family or expanding the family okay for some of you that's what this is I feel like you are going to reach your goal, Scorpio. Whatever you set out to do, you will accomplish. The only caution I have for you is just keep people in the loop. Keep those important to you in the loop. Okay, this is what I'm doing and why. Because from the outside looking in with the Page of Swords here, they could be looking at you as, you know, you're doing this for yourself or you're a little selfish or who knows what the hell else they're going to be thinking. But... They won't get it. They won't understand that actually you're doing this for everyone's sake, right? You're doing this because then you'll be able to provide support for everyone with the emperor. That's the energy. That's the provider. So keep them in the loop. You know, this is what I'm doing and why. This is, you know, this is the plan I have for us. And these are the actions I need to take for that so that they understand the ultimate reason. Do you know what I mean? That way they can get on board and they can stop um, being angry, making comments, making your life difficult maybe sometimes, right? Making you feel bad because you don't want to go out or making you feel bad because you're never around for, you know, to catch up on things with friends or family or attend gatherings or events, you know? So keep everyone in the loop and like I say, be mindful of what you teach others because you're setting a tone and you're setting a pace for yourself. You want to be able to maintain it if you are working towards a new level in your career and that will be your new normal. You want to set it up in such a way that you can maintain it and that means delegate and make sure everyone does their job. You're not doing your job as well as other people's forever right make it clear we're working together here because we have yeah harvey just climbed my wardrobe <sighs> give me strength um we're working together here i'm gonna pick up the slack here and there if i can just so that we push ourselves across but after that you're gonna have to pick up on that thing you're gonna have to pick back up that back up etc you know what i mean so kind of being the emperor and delegating and making it clear and keeping everything on track and everyone focused if it's a case of you're working with other people okay but other than that be mindful of burnout again be transparent with the people who are important to you so that they're aware who you're doing this for because it's not it's not a selfish thing definitely by no means um, and that way they can get on board they can support you they can help you however they can you know emotionally uh, if if that's the only way they can but it's going to make a difference right and you will reach your goal I feel like for a lot of you is to do with stability being reaching that goal 
if it's a job, if it's a house, if it's money, right? You're working towards reaching that point of stability. Of I have reached this point, I have built my foundation, I can't go backwards. Uh, you know, it's not gonna get shaken up, it's not gonna go away, right? It's reaching that point where it's, you can expect what's gonna happen next month when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your goals. Because you've set things in motion in such a way that the fundamentals are set, okay? There's no question there. You don't need to go back and redo anything. You don't need to constantly keep an eye on it, right? So one example would be getting that promotion or that raise because once you reach that point, you don't have to worry about your finances. That frees you up to also start spending more time with friends and family. That frees you up to start to look after yourself a little bit better. That relaxes you in terms of, oh my God, I've always been on the go and hustling and bustling to get that promotion, right? I got it, now it's stable, I know what to expect. Obviously you're still gonna be doing the work, but it's not, the, 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 the focus, the motivation, the drive will be a little different. Do you know what I mean? It'll free you up, you won't have to worry about it anymore, you'll, fr you'll be free to look at other things in your life. And Charlie saw Harvey on the wardrobe, so now he's gonna try to climb it. God. Honestly, people, does this, this have to be when I'm recording? Yeah, yeah, it has to be when I'm recording. Okay. Scorpio, Oracle Energy and Advice for Scorpio for the week ahead. Changed in the night. You have changed quickly. 11. So definitely you're working towards a big change in your life. And there is a time factor here. There's pressure here, right? There's this go, go, go energy, all right? But like I say, as long as you are transparent and everyone knows why you're doing the things you're doing, people can get on board. They can stop giving you a hard time. They can stop, you know, judging, criticizing, or, or having an opinion about what you're doing, what you should be doing. Once you tell them, I know what I'm doing, this is why, this is how, you know, they're like, oh, okay, Scorpio knows what they're doing, and that's actually a good plan. Let me either get on board or get out of their way. We have Believe, Strange Encounters, 31, that adds up to a 4, stability is your focus. And I do feel like there's a sense of isolation here. You have been on your own for some time. You've pulled back from the world. Oh, give me strength, he's on the wardrobe. I know they're going to start slapping each other and then stuff is going to be falling off my wardrobe. Okay, deep breath. If you hear any noises or anything like that, guys, I'm really sorry in advance. You've been isolating yourself because you've been so focused and driven on this goal of yours that has to do with stability. Okay. 38, you are rare and free. There are not many like you. And that adds up to an 11 again. You're gearing up for a new phase in your life, whether it's a new level in career and money, whether it's a new place to live and that could be your forever home, whether it's a new beginning when it comes to relationships and commitments, family, whatever that is, okay? And I feel like you've thought things out, you've made a plan for yourself, and you're just going through the motions of that plan. And that's your drive, right? If I get, to, once I get to my goal, it's not if, once I get to my goal, then I'll be free to do this and that and the other. And the right way, learning to create what you desire, number 21, adds up to a three. Yeah, see, you have that, you've, you've got a plan, you know what you wanna create, you've been working towards it, okay? And again, there's a message here, cause you see, she's alone here, she's alone here, she's alone here here she's got someone else there kind of looks like a butler doesn't it it's the frog that was a butler frog toad i don't know the difference <laughs> i don't know their matters i meant um so again the message is talk to people even if it's just to vent take some of the pressure off or to get them organized or you're telling them this is what i want to do this is why i'm doing this this is what i need from you or they can say, okay, I get it now, I understand, uh, what can I do? Or 
I fully support you, I encourage you, or I'll get out of your way, or I can pick up the slack at home while you're doing this, or do you know what I mean? So conversation is key. You don't have to do everything on your own because with the emperor, that's the energy. The emperor and the nine of pentacles, it's solitary energy. I have to do this on my own. And the message there is, well, there's some things that only you can do, yes, but you don't have to do everything alone, right? And if it's a, even if it's a case of venting, right? Trusting the people around you and just venting, that will help you a lot because it will take some of the pressure off. It will, again, give you that sense of closure, uh, closure, closeness and support. And then you can feed that back into continuing to pursue this goal. Does that make sense? But whatever this is, I mean, keep at it. You're on the right track. You're doing everything the right way. Um, allow people in. Allow people to help or tell people what you need from them. But you will reach that goal. It's not that far off. Okay? It's like four weeks, a month time where you can reach that goal. You won't have to struggle after that. You won't have to be always on the go. You won't have to be so split is also what I hear okay so keep going and I hope the uh, advice helps you get there faster safer and in a way that you know doesn't cost you your health all right and where are we at 3640 Pisces hey Pisces thank you for joining us if you're skipping ahead please watch the intro as well there's some important information for you there and one thing I forgot to say is that this is the Tarot in Wonderland Tarot deck. All right, so what's going on for Pisces? Oh God, my boys, both my boys, my cats, if you don't know, are on my wardrobe. And I can see a slapping match coming and then a bunch of stuff falling off my wardrobe. So if you hear anything, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's not a lot I could do right now. Which is why they're doing it. They know when I'm recording. And they're like, she's not going to get up and tell us off or chase us away because she's doing something. And there we go. That's one. Okay. <sighs> okay. Pisces in the week ahead. What's going on for Pisces? Ace of Wands. New beginnings. New offers. New opportunities. Pisces in the week ahead. Pisces. Summarizing Venus in the week ahead. Oh, God, give me strength. They're lucky they're cute. That's all I'm going to say. Temperance is the situation. Six of Wands is the challenge. Page of Cups is the outcome. Four of Swords at the bottom of it's <laughs> showing my camera there, which is my old setup. Oh my god, I can't believe it. New setup, people. Four of Swords, new setup, Monica. Wake up. Okay. Oh my god, the boys are going to be the death of me. Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck, and your situation is the temperance. So there has been a bit of a waiting game here bit of a waiting game voluntary right but a waiting game the challenge why this is what you've been waiting for the six of wands um, I feel like it has a lot to do with work life so you've been waiting for a promotion you've been waiting for a job offer because maybe you've been interviewing because the six of swords come out, comes out of the five of so the five of wands Let's say six of swords is yeah moving on moving on to something better or bigger going from one place to another uh you've been waiting on this right this is where this is like acknowledgement recognition uh raise promotion new job as a result of you beating out the competition it's standing out and being rewarded for it right someone recognizing your worth and rewarding you for it making it public as well in the outcome, we have the Page of Cups. So there is, we're going to clarify, but I feel like this is the initial conversation that gets things unstuck. So it could be 
if you have been waiting for an opportunity this is a conversation where they're saying hey the opportunity is coming your way you're gonna have to interview for this this is when you know that's available or hey this is the, just an update on the situation things are put in motion I got this back from HR I got this back from whatever um, we're working on it but we've made some progress right so because it's it, the page of cups is like it's the good news but the it's not put on paper yet it's not the page of swords it's not something that's going to show in your finances yet it's not the page of pentacles okay it's not uh, the page of wands where it's an offer you can take it and just hit the ground running it's the page of cups it's the good news that precedes all of that right so if you have been waiting with the temperance card this is kind of keeping yourself busy with something else until whatever you're waiting on is ready to present itself right so that can play out a number of different ways you could have if it's a case where you're going for uh, a new job right your dream job page of cups six of wands your dream job needs more time I feel like we had this last week right something needed more time to develop and in the meantime you're doing something else and that's why you had the seven of swords in there kind of being strategic you, you keep going in this new direction but you're keeping your eyes on that direction when it's available to you you can make the switch right so with the temperance card you have either been keeping yourself busy within a current job you might have accepted a, a different job while you're keeping your eyes open on the other for the other right keeping your eyes on the progress um, because you do have to keep going you can't just sit there until it's ready to present itself because you got bills to pay and all that right so that's one scenario you've been be you've been busy in your current role you've accepted a different role and now here's your dream one showing up and then you get to have a very positive conversation, interview for it, get the ball rolling, where you have an input because so far you just you didn't have an input. You didn't have you didn't get an opinion, no one asked you, you know, it's like okay, I just have to keep waiting, I just have to be patient. That's that was the only thing you could do. Okay? So you're gonna see some progress with whatever this is, okay? For others of you if you have been waiting for someone to figure out your worth, and this could be in a work sense, it could also be romantically, and you've been contemplating, maybe even have moved on already, right? Because like, okay, you know what, while you figure it out, I'm going to be over here keeping busy. I feel like this is where someone finally figures it out and they're like, yeah, I choose you or, you know what I mean? There's some sort of a loving communication, loving gesture coming your way it might have been where someone had to go through whatever issues they had to do with their own ego maybe someone was you know struggled to be vulnerable and now they're finally at a point where they can do that there has been waiting time but I do feel like you have tried to keep yourself busy in the meantime or even move on from it altogether let's get more clarity here with the temperance card we have the four of pentacles yeah trying to keep busy but you're still stuck there um, not really releasing it with the six of wands we have the two of cups yeah definitely and with the page of cups we have the king of swords and the ace of cups under the four of swords we have the eight of pentacles waiting for that job opportunity way that waiting for that promotion opportunity uh, waiting for the opportunity to change your job waiting for that opportunity to improve your money and again you've been trying to keep busy doing other things but uh, you're never, you have never been able to move on. Not really, right? With that Four of Pentacles. Okay, bear with me. Just that. Uh, I had to go check on them because they were in a, di a different room, and when I can't see them, they take advantage. <laughs> okay, so you have been trying to keep yourself busy, trying to move on from something, uh, while either, either consciously waiting to see if anything else happens with it, if it's in the case of a job or anything like that, or maybe subconsciously, whether you were aware of it or not, you were a little bit stuck on that situation, right? Because you felt either it was some unfinished business or something along those lines. The challenge, the Six of Wands, the Two of Cups, I feel like you might have been dealing with someone with commitment issues or someone who likes attention, someone who likes to keep their options open, whether they would do anything about it or not, it's a different topic, 
but they like to have the options, right? Uh, someone with a fear of commitment or someone who, um, do you know the feeling that I'm getting? You know, someone who is afraid to step away from their family or their group of friends or their community. They always have a support system around them. A bit of a codependent situation going on there, right? Uh, and people pleasing. And you've been dealing with someone who has been struggling to really make it about just the two of you, okay? However, that makes sense. And then in the outcome with the Page of Cups, yeah, we have that loving gesture and loving conversation. We have the King of Swords, the Gemini Libra Aquarius energy with the Ace of Cups. So if it's a Gemini Libra Aquarius, they're coming in very, very loving, very open and vulnerable, which I feel like is something that, that didn't happen before. They're pointing my attention to the fact that that says dictionary. I don't know if you can see. Probably not because it's too close. But anyway, it says dictionary. So I feel like they're explaining themselves. There we go. They're, they're looking to explain themselves or to tell you how they have changed, what they have learned, King of Swords, um, how they have grown up, right? They have put the storms behind them, the confusion, the clouds of confusion of who they are, what they want to do apart from a group, a family, or a community. And they're ready to make you a wholehearted uh, type of offer. Whether you accept it or not is up to you. And for others of you, this is the interview. Some sort of a, uh, an ear sign might be involved, whether you're interviewing with them or they're helping you, or they're going to be your manager. That's why you're interviewing with them. And there's an offer very quickly, okay, very quickly. So I feel like there will be the initial conversation or setting up an interview and literally the next day, right, it feels like a day or two, within the same week, if not, okay, there's that contract that's made official with that King of Swords. So, very, very nice. Very, very nice, Pisces. Whatever you've been doing, it's working. So, let's see. Overall, Oracle Energy and Advice for Pisces. Oracle Energy and Advice for Pisces in the week ahead. Oracle Energy and Advice for Pisces in the week ahead. Oracle Energy and Advice for Pisces in the week ahead. One more. And we'll take that one. Okay, bottom of the deck. We have messages for a rabbit. Service to the animal world, number 15. So that's up to a six. And with this, there is um, swift change is what I'm getting. Obviously, messages, communication, uh, starting up out of the blue after a time of waiting or st stuff being stagnant. Um, I feel like there's a, a an advice here to trust your instincts to trust your intuition, especially when it comes to someone you've dealt with before and there were issues there. Trust your instincts, okay? Also, don't move too quickly because if you slow it down, then they're gonna show their true colors, right? If you tell someone, uh, I don't wanna jump into this too fast, let's just take it slow and see what happens. If they're really ready to work on it, they'll be like, yeah, whatever you need. I'm comfortable to go at your pace. We're gonna, you know, rebuild this. I know it's gonna take time. I'm perfectly okay with that. And they will show you that every step of the way for as long as you need, okay? It's always tea time. Eternity, endless moments, repetition. Some of you are dealing with a cancer because I do have another water sign in the cards here and they had this card as well. Um, 26 adds up to an eight. The Strength card in the tarot is a number eight talking about, again, just holding back its inner strength, its inner fortitude, um, observing before you decide how, how you're going to respond. It's not reacting, keeping things in check, trusting your, your intuition. There's also this repetition, something coming back around, something that was discussed prior is now being fulfilled, something that you've been waiting on and it feels like you've been waiting for an eternity. Could have been eight weeks or eight months or even going further back is now coming back around. Follow the white rabbit. Curiosity meets opportunity. Okay, it's so random. But 
because I have two rabbits and I'm thinking about the Chinese New Year and I'm thinking about the rabbit and that is people born in 1987 and I only know that because I'm a rabbit <laughs> or a cat um, in the Chinese um, horoscope and you're dealing with someone who's born in the same year that you were born okay very random but that there you go um, if you are willing to entertain this it can develop it can grow and again this is something that you were curious about you asked about it you tried to get it to start you tried to see what your part in it was uh, you were more than available now you're gonna get the opportunity that you have been waiting for you have the time in the background as well becoming braver resilience experience growing stronger fresh perspective number five and talking about those uh, attributes in the strength card energy as well going stronger growing stronger right new experience resilience and fresh perspective I feel like you're getting this fresh perspective when it comes to something you're already familiar with there's a change in that there's an opportunity for a fresh perspective if you entertain it if you're curious about it you can get a new perspective on this this situation this person or the possibilities between the two of you it's up to you to decide uh, for others of you there is a change that it's almost like it's allowing you to be more independent especially financially okay there's more responsibility that you're taking on but it also comes with financial security uh, and independence and it's not just about getting by or covering your bill, bills and then you have a little bit to spend but you can't really save, you can't really pay your debt without kind of being uh, a little bit uncomfortable with everything else you have to, to cover. Um, this is where there's a complete shift, there's a complete change and I hear wealth, okay, as a result of this opportunity. All right, so I will leave that with you. You're gonna have to tell me what this is about. But yeah, I mean, you have reconciliation on the table. If you wanted that, uh, it's up to you to decide, okay? The King of Swords, I feel like, is your energy as well, where you're putting emotion aside. You're like, you're looking at the Ace of Cups and you're like, okay, that's nice, that's lovely, thanks, but I need to be smart about this. You know what I mean? Um, so it's up to you to decide when it comes to matters of the heart. Um, and all this could all be vice versa. You could be the one, you know, with some commitment issues. You could be the one trying to figure out if you want to commit to someone else or if this could be a friend, right? And there's conversations around, can we be more than friends? There's a new perspective on something that's already there, right? It's up to you to decide. When it comes to work and money, I am seeing that shift, that change that you have been waiting for. You had to keep yourself busy with someone else in the meantime, but that shift is coming and it's going to be fast and it's a change in your wealth altogether, right, for the better. So I hope that it makes sense to you. I'm looking forward to your feedback. Um, have an amazing week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.